praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read second corinthians chapter 10 as we read the charge of covetise is answered in second corinthians chapter 10 let us pray let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us help us and bless us amen now i paul myself i am pleading with you by the meekness and gentleness of christ who is in presence i am lowly among you but being absent i am bold toward you verse 2 but i beg you that when i am present i may not be bold with that confidence by which i intend to be bold against some who think of us as if we walked according to the flesh the charge of walking in the flesh is answered was 3 for though we walk in the flesh we do not war against to the flesh for though we walk in the flesh we do not war according to the flesh was 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in god for pulling down strongholds was 5 casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ verse 6 and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled verse 7 do not do you look at things according to the outward appearance if any one is convinced in himself that he is Christ let him again consider this in himself that just as he is christ even so we are christ verse 8 for even if i should boast somewhat more about our authority which the lord gave us for edification and not for your destruction i should not be ashamed i shall not be ashamed verse nine least i seem to terrify you by letters the charge of personal weakness is answered for this letters for his letters they say are weighty and powerful but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible was 11 let such a person consider this that what we are in word by letters when we are absent such we will also be indeed when we are present verse 12 for we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves but they measuring themselves as we see and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise verse 13 we however will not boast beyond measure but within the limits of the sphere which god appointed us a sphere which specially includes you verse 14 for we are not extending ourselves beyond our spheres thus not reaching you for it was to you that we came with the gospel of christ was 15 not boasting of things beyond measure that is 
in other men's labors, but having hope that as your faith is increased, we shall be greatly enlarged by you in our sphere. Verse 16. To preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in another man's sphere of accomplishment. Verse 17. But he who glorifies, let him glorify in the Lord. Verse 18. For not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commands. Amen. Here ends the reading of the Second Corinthians chapter 10. May God bless the reading. And as we see the beautiful chapter of Corinthians, it says, He who glorifies him, let him glorify in the Lord. In verse 17. Yes, beloved. Every blessing is there for you and me. We have to just read the Bible and pray. Make it a point every day, beloved, to take out at least half an hour from the 24 hours and meditate on the word of God. Take a particular place, a particular time, read the Bible and pray. For when we pray, we are speaking to God. And when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. A beautiful word as we read in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. It says, And he said to them, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes, beloved, let us always remember this word. We have problems every day. Sometimes there is no money in the house. There is problems of the business, financial crisis. There is problems of job. There is unemployment. There is sickness. There is hurdles in life, isn't it? But remember this word always. My grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Yes, beloved, the word is for everyone. The Bible is the manna to our soul and it is the roadmap of life. The word is spirit. The word is life. John 6 verse 63. The word is fire. The word is hammer, which will break the rock into pieces. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. Yes, we have everything at hand. We have to go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. The word says, return to me and I will return to you. Zechariah 1.3 Yes, beloved. The word says to you and to me, God is saying, as we read in Isaiah 43 verse 1, you are mine. The words are true. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his words will not pass away. Matthew 24.35 Yes, for he is the same yesterday, today and forever. As we read in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. So, we have to trust the Lord at all times. As the word says, as we read in Psalm 62, verse 8. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. As we read in Psalm 34, verse 19. Yes, the word says those who look to him are radiant and their faces are never covered with shame. As we read in Psalm 34. Yes, Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him, and he delivers them. The words are true. Psalm 34 verse 7. Every word in the Bible is true, beloved. Keep your hand on the particular verse and put the date, time, and ask the Lord. The word says, Ask and he shall receive. Matthew 7 verse 8. It shall be given to everyone. The words are true. There is no bias that you are rich or poor, and there is no fees, there is no sacrifice required. We have to only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. Yes, my dear children, my dear youth, and everyone, he will bless us with wisdom also. Yes, he is the fountain of wisdom. As we read in James 1 verse 5, the word says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not. Upbraideth not. It shall be given to him. The words are true. James 1 verse 5. Yes, I am his witness. Yes, the words are true, beloved. It says in Mark 11 verse 24, When we pray, we have to ask and we have to believe that we have received 
the blessings and we will receive it the words are true hallelujah yes beloved yes there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house as we read in ezekiel 34:26 he will bless us with peace for jesus christ is the prince of peace yes he is the prince of life yes he is the way the truth and the life john 14:6 yes beloved yes peace joy these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also isn't it yes jesus christ will bless you with peace he will bless you with joy for the joy of the lord is my strength nehemiah 8:10 yes he will make a way where there is no way for he is the way the way the truth and the life there is no other way beloved yes yes we have to taste and see lord is good yes beloved he will give us all that is good psalm 85 verse 12 and the words are true as it says there is nothing impossible for him matthew 19 26 luke 1 37 yes the words are true verse says in john 15 verse 7 as we read the mighty word yes for the word says when we abide in him and his words abide in us what we ask what we desire we will ask and he will give it to us the words are very simple the words are very direct but it is powerful only believe mark 536 the words are very true beloved yes at a point at a stage of life where i had to believe these words and it came true yes beloved man is but a breath in his nostrils the words are true as i chapter 2 yes but the maker of heaven and earth is there with you yes my dear sister my dear brother wipe away those tears for the word says god is the salvation revelation 7:10 revelation 7:17 says he will wipe away our every tear he will lead us to the living waters and he will be our shepherd revelation 7:17 yes the miracle which happened 2000 years before it will happen today now also jesus christ is present with us right now yes he will heal us beloved for the word says with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us he heals us the words are true as i 53 was 5 be healed my dear brother my dear sister in the name of jesus of nazareth right now yes touch my brother sister my dear children lord jesus christ touch them yes heal them yes for your word is true you took our infirmities and carried our diseases the words are true as we read in matthew 8 verse 17 i and my father are one as we read in john 10 verse 30 and remember beloved he will never leave us as orphans the words are true as we read the mighty word yes in john 14 verse 18 jesus christ is the light of the world john 8:12 yes and as we surrender ourselves in the hands of lord jesus christ he will take care of us for the word says casting all your cares upon the lord for he cares for you as we read in 1 peter 5:7 yes he will take care of your tomorrow beloved he will carry us he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age as we read in isaiah 46 was 4 yes let us be encouraged and let us never give up in life for the words are true as we read in jeremiah 1 was 5 yes the word says as we read the mighty word yes he will carry us because he will he knows even before he formed us in the womb he knew us beloved jeremiah 1 was 5 yes and also we have to ask for the holy spirit for acts 1 8 says we will receive power when we get the holy spirit and we will be the witness to judea samaria and to the ends of the earth yes when we receive the holy spirit we will act receive the holy spirit beloved yes what do we have to do to receive lord jesus christ the word says ephesians as we read also in acts in chapter 16 it says we have to believe in the lord jesus christ and you and your household will be saved as even the philippian jailer asked in acts chapter 16 was 30 31 32 32. yes beloved miracles will happen in your life Yes, seize the day, be victorious in life, for a mighty God has already gone ahead of us, and He's already sent us. Judges 4:14, Judges 
14. Yes. Ask the will of the Lord for you in your life. Yes. In 1985, I had prayed and asked the will of Lord. And the will came. And the word came very directly. It says, Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks in all circumstances. And pray constantly. For this is will of God in Jesus Christ for you. As we read the mighty word in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16. Yes, beloved. Remember, yes, God speaks. Yes, he is the living God. God of the living, not the dead. And all live to him. Luke 20 verse 38. Yes, he is the omnipotent God who reigns. Revelation 19 verse 6. And he has all power and authority. Matthew 28. Yes, he has promised us. He is with us till the end of the age. Yes, he is true to his promise, beloved. He is faithful to his promise. As we read in Exodus 12, 25, Hebrews 10, 23, and also those who hope in him will not be disappointed. As we read the mighty word from Isaiah 49, verse 23. Yes, he will take care of our every need, beloved. He is our Yahweh Ire. Genesis 22, verse 14. And Genesis 22, verse 8. Yes, beloved. He is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer. Yes, God will help us. He is our Ishunasi. He is our Banam beloved. Yes. Isaiah 11 verse 10. He is a Malaika Malakim, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Yes. And also, we see the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Matthew 28. Yes. Let us be bold and courageous. For our God hates cowardness. As we did in Revelation 19, behave courageously. The word says to you and to me, as we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me from 2 Chronicles 19 verse 11. And always seek the counsel of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 14 verse 10. Be victorious in life, be blessed, and never give up, beloved. Yes, our mighty God is there with us, and he loves us. Yes, he is are Malika Malikim, King of King, Lord of Lords. Yes, and He will carry us, beloved. So we do not have to worry, as it says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Why take ye thought? Matthew 6, verse 28. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Yes, beloved. All the words are true. Let us take out time and read the Bible and receive the blessings. For Psalm 112 verse 3 says, When we meditate on the word of God, when we fear the living God, yes, when we obey him, we will have the wealth and prosperity. For the words are true as we read the mighty word. It speaks in Isaiah 45 verse 7. God is speaking to you and to me. I form light, I create darkness, I bring calamity, I bring prosperity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Yes, beloved, it is true. The words are true. For the word says in Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, you keeps Israel, will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. Always, when you wake up, wear the armor of God. Let Lord Jesus Christ be the chief guest of your house. Revelation 3.20 and of your heart. Yes. And wear the armor of God. Ephesians 6.11 As the devil is prowling outside. Yes. We rebuke every satanic power to leave in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Wear the armor of God. That is the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved, we are ready now. And remember, we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. It is the first commandment. And the second is we have to love our neighbor. For love is the greatest of all. Love never ends. The words are true. And we shall live as we read in Luke 10, yes, 25 to 27. And we are so blessed. We have the Bible written 
the Ten Commandments written with the finger of God. There's so many blessings, 40,000 checks in the Bible, and cash it with your own signature, beloved, not with the king's or queen's signature. Yes, and also we have to arise and shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Yes, do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes, beloved. Yes, we are in this world. God has a plan for you and me. And remember, yes, the prophecy for this year, for you and me, as we read in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, the word says, I know your thoughts, I have plans of future, hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you and me. Yes, beloved, be encouraged and never give up in life. Hallelujah. For all your prayer requests, do send us an email. We will pray for you. Yes, the email ID is given in the description. And also, as the Lord is guiding you, you can send us the tithes, free will offering, and also every donation as the Lord guides you. The link is given in the description. God bless you abundantly, beloved. As we read in Psalm 38, verse 6, Ephesians 3, verse 20. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.